In CREO 12, we have expanded the results available in CREO Simulation Live for all types of studies. Let's first take a look at two different fluid studies and review the new options. Here is an external flow simulation of a heat sink that has an airflow from the left side. After running the simulation, you can now review the direction field for any result type, when previously we could only see this result with velocity in fluids. Also, you can turn on vectors to see the relevant variable. All the legend options are available while reviewing the results, making this a very powerful improvement to CSL results. I'll now switch to a different study that has natural convection for this heat sink, and we can then see the simulation change, and we can review multiple types of results for both direction field and vectors. In this next fluids example, we can now see how we've expanded results for streamlines and particles to look at all result types available, when previously we could only see this result when looking at velocity. Now we can see streamlines and particles for any type of result that you choose. In addition, you can also turn on direction field and vectors in this example. Lastly, let's review these new options in a structural study. After simulating this jaw model, I can now choose direction field and vectors for any type of result that's available to be shown as a contour. As shown before, we have complete control of these displays with the legend, and also we can modify the vector options to make the arrows more visible or change in the count. All these added result options within Creo Simulation Live give the user more clarity to help make simulation-driven design decisions within their design process.